The Historic Hampton House. I'm stepping into the historic Hampton House in Miami, Florida. Stepping back in time helps you discover a lot about the world and about yourself. Join me as we explore an institution that is linked to some of the greatest achievers in modern history. Let's go. What made this unique hotel so special is that it's a multi-purpose facility, swimming pool, a concert hall, and its iconic lobby. When it comes to global impact, these two icons are considered among the greatest of all time. Muhammad Ali, the first to win the world championship on three separate occasions and emerged as a civil rights icon. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Nobel Prize winning civil rights legend that elevated the trajectory of American democracy. They are among dozens of world history makers linked to one dynamic Miami landmark, the historic Hampton House. We're going to take you back to 1964, then up to today, exploring just a little slice of incredible history at the historic Hampton House. In 1964, Miami Beach was as popular as it is today. That was the year Miami took center stage as the Beatles' American tour hit the town. They made it a point to get some camera time with then Cassius Clay at the Fifth Street Gym. Amazingly, Clay couldn't stay on the beach at the time. African Americans faced significant restrictions, including being barred from certain beaches and public spaces without a pass. The civil rights movement was gaining momentum, but many of the systemic changes had yet to take place. Hotels like the Hampton House welcomed black travelers to Miami. Cassius Clay stayed at the historic Hampton House. Today, Miami has transformed into a global city with substantial international appeal, attracting tourists, businesses, and media attention from around the world. Miami is celebrated for its diversity and multiculturalism. Although impressive progress has been made, significant challenges remain. The historic Hampton House remains a timeless and relevant landmark. Let's go inside. Ah, this is a history lover's paradise. The legendary lobby of the historic Hampton House. So to add insight and appreciation for this amazing facility, let's meet Jackie Collier, director of the historic Hampton House. Back my sister Jackie Collier here at the historic Hampton House, one of the most amazing, sometimes overlooked jewels in the United States. When you look at places that are landmarks, Jackie, with iconic images and some of the most important figures in American history, not black history. No, American history. And you get to work here every day. You know, it is such a joy. <laughs> every day when I come in, I think to myself, I'm sitting in a place where Martin Luther King honed his I Have a Dream speech. One of the greatest leaders in history, Martin Luther King Jr. was a beacon of hope and change, embodying nonviolent resistance and civil disobedience. As a Baptist minister and leader of the civil rights movement, he tirelessly fought against racial injustice and segregation. His leadership in events like the Montgomery bus boycott, the Birmingham protests, and the March on Washington, where he delivered his timeless I Have a Dream speech, galvanized the nation. King's dedication to equality and justice led to monumental legislative achievements, including the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and the Fair Housing Act of 1968. His legacy reminds us that through courage and perseverance, all is possible. Dr. King stayed at the historic Hampton House. I am standing in the doorway where Cassius Clay who became a Muhammad Ali, actually stayed in that room. Rooms 38, 37, those were his rooms. And he stayed there, and he made speeches there, and he signified there. He was just, he was just an amazing person. And there's this man, known as the greatest. Muhammad Ali seduced the media by being brash, playful, rebellious, kind, charming, loud, arrogant, and soft-spoken. His witty pre-fight poetry was legendary. The National Constitution Center awarded Ali the Liberty Medal for displaying courage and conviction while striving for global freedom. More than a legendary boxer, Ali was transformative, a fervent activist, and the champion of justice, peace, and unity. His bold stance against the Vietnam War draft exemplified his commitment to principles, 
Civil rights leaders recognize his dedication to social change. Ali's impact on the world was greater than his boxing triumphs, and he remains an enduring symbol of strength and conviction. He stayed at the historic Hinton House. He was just an amazing person, um, and I met him as a child, so I really did get to see him as, a, as an individual. But. He was funny. He was just absolutely funny. Such a personality. Absolutely. And one of the, these leaders yeah. uh, displayed, they had to have it to get the attention and we didn't have social media, so they had to work no. extra hard. Really? Now, what I know of when I come in here, walking through the lush entrance yeah. uh, and coming in here and all of a sudden I'm taken back with this beautiful gold and a structure. Talk about this room that we're sitting in. Yeah. We are sitting in the lobby of the historic Hampton House and it has been fully restored so cool about it is the wrought iron is original. The terrazzo floors are original. The pennant is original. And the only reason we still have that pennant is because the church that came into the Hampton House after it closed um, covered it with red shag carpet. If they hadn't covered it with red shag carpet, we wouldn't have, you know, the pennant and, and, and the original um, terrazzo floors. Um, but the the historic Hampton House started out as the Booker Terrace Hotel, motel. And the owners really spent a lot of money on just designing it so that it looked almost like the Hollywood, uh, Beverly Hills um, um, Hilton. Mm -hmm. And so they really wanted to have that upscale, really up, up, up look. And they lost it. Booker Terrace, the owners of Booker Terrace lost it and it went on to become bought by the Markowitz family, and the Markowitz family spent a million dollars in 1959, 60s money. That was real money. Yeah, real money. Um, so it would be about 10, 15 million dollars today just on upgrading everything in the Hampton House. Um, but the lobby has these beautiful floating stairs that you can see, and it also has this padded um, um, facade for the for the lobby for the ch check-in desk and the check-in desk was always a special place because Mrs. Wade who was the first and only clerk at check-in um, is still alive and she told she tells us these wonderful stories about the historic Hampton House and the guests that lived that came here to stay. All these celebrities all these luminaries all these iconic giants walked right here, right past where right. we were, and checked right. in. Right, right there. Excuse me. <laughs> I'll have a nice room. <laughs> Which room do you recommend, Jackie? I recommend that you stay in room 42, because 42 is the room that Jackie Robinson always stayed. Oh my God, oh, the room 42. Yeah, right, his number was 42, and he stayed in room 42. And that was one of the things that Mrs. Wade told us, that he had this specific, you know, that he wanted 42. And so whenever, he, whenever they knew he was coming, they, they'd have to get the guests to move out of 42, if there were guests in there, but they wouldn't move you. You could, you could stay in 42. I appreciate you that. Could, you'd be able to stay in 42. Hard work pays off. But. One of the greatest baseball stars ever, Jackie Robinson, helped change American culture. Robinson became the first African-American to play Major League Baseball in the modern era. He broke the color line when he started at first base for the Brooklyn Dodgers on April 15, 1947. During his 10-year Major League Baseball career, Robinson won the first ever Rookie of the Year award in 1947. He was an all-star for six consecutive seasons from 49 to 54 and won the National League Most Valuable Player in 1949. The first black player so honored. Robinson played in six World Series and contributed to the Dodgers' 1955 World Series Championship. Robinson was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962. Jackie Robinson stayed at the historic Hampton House. It is such a joy. <laughs> Every day when I come in, I think to myself, I am walking in the steps that Aretha Franklin took. We are no longer a hotel per se. We're basically a museum and cultural center. So we have all kinds of wonderful events. We have um, Art Basel here. Bebop to Hip Hop, which is all about, you know, great music and um, our last feature was with Shaka Khan. She was the last guest that we had here a year ago. 
And now we're planning for the upcoming year because the 2025 will be 10 years in this building. Yes, you gotta come here. Call me if you need to. We gotta make this happen. Thanks to the Greater Miami Conventions and Visitors Bureau oh, and Dr. Pink and Dr. Pinkney for her leadership. Yes. But we're going to go in another room and uh, one of my favorite because I've seen these iconic pictures at the counter. Right. Shall we? Shall we? Let's come go. Back. In part two of this special, we'll check out the counter where bold history was made and iconic images were taken.